Hey everybody, Rose Matter here, and welcome to part 77 of my Umineko Let's Play. Last episode, uh, Will did some more of his investigation. I talked to Jessica about her interaction with Bea Tariche. It was pretty creepy. And it seems after he's kind of like interrogated everybody he needs to, he seems to have come to a conclusion about who the culprit is. And there was also kind of like the, um, you know, that revelation about Leon. We don't quite know what their gender is. So, interesting. So I kind of left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, because we seem to, like, we are going to jump into, like, Will has uh, confronted the culprits. Of course, we can't see from their point of view. We can't see who he's talking to. Uh, but it seems like we are now going to get into who the culprit is, which is pretty surprising. Uh, but this episode has been pretty forthcoming with a lot of information so far, so I guess it shouldn't surprise me that much. But anyway, let's get into it, and hopefully we'll find out some concrete answers about that. Okay, new person. Hello. New character introduced. Shouldn't be surprised. ガラスとコルクに風ぜられし小さな世界 ならば聞こう。どこがいい。誰がいい。私を優しく包んでくれる場所ならば、どこだっていいわ。優しくしてくれるなら、自分が誰だっていいわ。そうさ。僕たちには。私たちには。どこで誰かなんて、些細なことな
Oh, it's weird to see it without the picture. The servants who would start working this April all called out in unison. Okay, so we're getting into the servants here. So, hmm, if we're talking about the culprit, the rules of the Ushiramiya family are no, are no more or less strict than those at the Gospel House. However, here we get paid a lot of money. They also give us a lot of help in finding our next job. We work for the Ushiramiya family, store up money, use their influence to get a job at a good company, and start on a new happy life. That was the dream, and it was a very realistic one held by all of us at the Gospel House. However, not everyone can become an Ushiramiya family servant. Only kids with a record of exemplary conduct and good grades are recommended. So all the kids who wanted to be sure of leaving the Gospel House to live a happy life are feverishly de uh, devoted to their studies. After bowing until Natsui was no longer in sight, the new servants all followed the lead of one of the more experienced servants and raised their heads. Oh. oh, snap! She looks like one of the seven, uh, oh, is that what they represent? The, uh, the seven stakes or the, the other servants? Because she looks like, um, oh gosh, it's hard to differentiate them all. I think Satan is the one who has that hair. It's even the same pose. Because there's a whole thing about, like, it feels like all of the magical things are representations of people in, in the real world. Like, uh, I think, um... Uh, Oh my gosh, I always forget his name. Uh, the guy with the mustache. Uh, so I think he represents, like, Genji. Um, why am I blanking out all the frickin' names? Um, uh, Beato's, uh, like, her master with the with the uh, gray hair. She, I th she represents uh, Kumasawa. It seems like the seven stakes represent the older servants. The experienced servants. <laughs> Of course, this experienced servant was one of the older girls from the Gospel House. She's been here for two years, apparently. That's probably why all the other new servants who are older than me seem to know her well. I need to see. I need to see if any of the other servant girls look like any of the seven stakes. They all chatted noisily, saying things like, Madam looks so strict. Dang, I'm tired. The older servant pointed at me and asked the room at large, a dubious look on her face. Okay, so I mean, if we're going into it, and I'm guessing it's Shannon, because Shannon has been there the longest, right? I mean, Shannon and Cannon, but they're addressing a singular person. And I guess it would make sense if Shannon, oh my gosh, if Shannon is Beatrice, it would make sense why all of the representations are people that she grew up with in this house, like the older servants looking like the seven stakes. Um, you know, the, the other, um, witches, uh, being representations of, like, other servants in the house. Like, oh my gosh, it's all coming together. It's no surprise, really, because I think Shannon, they said, like, she'd been working there for 10 years, and she's, what age did they say she was? 16? So she would have been, uh, that's assuming that's her real age, so she would be a literal child here. It's no surprise, really. Most of us became servants when we graduate middle school or high school. But I'm just starting elementary school. Are we gonna get to see a little little baby Shannon, or is this all just like gonna be from her point of view and we don't get to get a little sprite of her? The others will be working as servants every day according to their shifts. However, I was going to go to the elementary school at Nijima with my lady, only working on the weekends and when I had free time. It was an exception among exceptions, something that never happened before. And it's definitely Shannon because, uh, she goes to an all-girls school, I believe. It was clear at a glance the others who had obtained their positions after a rigorous selection process didn't like the fact I was here, too. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, at least do it behind them. She didn't even try to hide her discontent. That's definitely, yep. 
なんか病弱とかって隔離されてたらしくて家でも全然知りませんでしたしここに来た以上連帯責任なんだからねあんたがドジれば福音の家の全員のドジだと思われるのよせいぜい気合い入れなさいよね I nodded weakly. I'd never been threatened by someone this much older than me. I was very frightened. Wait! Wait! Okay, never mind. All that got thrown out the window. Shannon's right here, so this is canon? Maybe? And maybe Shannon took, like, a, a liking to... Uh, uh, well, this is... Okay, I am completely thrown for a loop right now. I thought that I knew what was going on. <laughs> Damn, okay. So, shoot, who is this then? The, the only other person I could think of would be Cannon. Huh. I thought they were about the same. It, they, I mean, Cannon did say that she was the old, that Shannon was like the older sister. Okay. Oh, God damn it. This has got to be Cannon. Shannon smiled at me as she spoke. Oh shit. Well. Shannon wa kuwaku nai no kai? Kono iye wa nanda ka kibishi so. Mm-hmm. Zenzen kuwaku nan ka nai yo. So they're saying Shannon. Anata ga kuwai to omou kara kuwaku natte shimau dake. Ja, tanoshii to omotta ra tanoshiku naru no kai? Okay, so one of them is speaking as Shannon, one of them is speaking as I'm assuming Kanan. Mm-hmm. Tanoshiku naru yo. Dakara koko demo well, that just throws my uh, my whole like hypothesis right out the goddamn window. <laughs> this game never fails to surprise me. Okay, and then there's Claire. Claire. Okay, so Claire represents is the okay. I I don't know what's going on. Does Claire represent who the culprit is? われは切れるくらいに呪まで要領が悪くて誰も友人などなっては来れなかったそんな我が福音の家で頑張ってこれたのは彼女がいつも励ましてくれたからだなら、ここでも彼女と一緒に頑張れるだろう。Okay, so obviously Shannon knew. I'm going to call them Canon for now because I don't know who else. or Claire, I guess. All right, I guess I'll just refer to this person as Claire. Uh, they're just throwing new characters at me. I don't know what to think. But then Zephyr and Furfuru. I felt like they represented kind of like two sides of, of a person, you know, like the dual duality. So I... So, but I but then Furfur is talking like they're the person, uh, the, the, the culprit. Hmm. <laughs> My new life on Rokunjima probably deserves an explanation. Yes, please. I love how, like, we're getting answers and yet I'm still confused at the same time. It was completely different from the comfortable yet stagnant life I'd lived at the Gospel House. In addition to the life, or to the time I spent as a servant to the Ushirmiya family on Rokunjima, I also traveled to the elementary school on Nijima on school day. So I'm thinking that because um, Leon is, like, uh, a representation of... Uh, Beatrice and Kinzo's child in this world where Natsui accepted them. This and all the other worlds, um, the child was rejected. I'm guessing that, yeah, the child never actually died. Kinzo found out about the child, maybe put it in the gospel house, and brought that child 
to Rokinjima as a quote unquote servant in order to keep them close by. Because they were saying about how like I was, you know, this person, the culprit. It's like, oh, I I was like weak of constitution and I'm not a very smart person. So obviously they're not some sort of child prodigy. But it was like a way for Kinzo to keep his child close by, but without raising suspicions. It was the start of a time that was both rushed and busy, with hardly any time to relax. Unlike at the Gospel House, I didn't get to sleep in the same bed every day here. Half the week I slept in the servants' quarters in the Rokinjima mansion. I would return from school with Milady, go to the mansion, and work there as a servant. I would then stay the night and head to school with Milady again the next morning. On days when I didn't have to work, I would return to the dormitory at Nijima, uh, Nijima, where I could have some time to myself in the room that had been assigned to me. There was an adult dorm mother who strictly controlled mealtimes and lights out, but I was already used to that sort of life in the gospel house, so it wasn't hard for me. The rooms were slightly larger than average and housed three people each. However, either because of the number of people or some lucky chance, I was not given a three-person room. <laughs> With Shannon by my side, I felt like I'd be able to manage well enough. え、福井の家から毎年何人かの使用人が入れ替わりでやってきていました。俺に関しては親父殿が先方と契約を手に入れていたことだから。Of the outlier from all the other servants. わたしたちにも何も口出しできなかったよ。身寄りのない子供たちを当家が厳しくしつけ、そして社会へ羽ばたいていくのを応援するのが止める後ろ宮家の社会への義務と思っていましたから。どんな子たちが後ろ宮家
福音の家にも問い合わせたそうそしたら源氏さんに聞いてくれという源氏さんに聞いたら親方様に聞いてくれという親方様に聞いたらベアトリーチェーと<笑>真実は誰にもわからないのね島に子供はジェシカしかいない使用人たちはよく娘と遊んでくれたようだがやはり娘は年の近い友人を望んでいたよ学校だけでなく家でも遊べる友人をね So I'm thinking yeah cause like doesn't Jessica go to an all girls school so now it's the whole thing I guess maybe it's like Leon with a you know not knowing if it's a boy or a girl maybe it's the same thing with Canon maybe Canon maybe a boy maybe a girl seems to be leaning more likely to be towards being a girl because how would Canon go to the same school as Jessica if she goes to an all girls school and I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure she does go to an all girls school. Jessica を不憫に思い、お父様が気を利かせたに違いないと、私も思うには思いました。しかしそれなら、私たちにも相談していただきたいとは思いませんか And once again, they're avoiding saying the gender of the servant. Just like with Leon. Alright, now here comes Will to like spit the facts instead of it being kind of like vague and uh, using interpretations. Come on, Will, give us, give us straight facts here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's pretty obvious now. I was just like, hmm, I'm guessing, but no, they're like straight up saying, like, okay, this is what's happening. マジョだったかもしれない。ほうまいも。難儀な運命だ。全くです。知ったことを後悔はしませんが、今からでも忘れられるなら、それを選びたいです。面白いじゃない。使用人なのに、実は当主の血を引く隠し語なんて、まるで
とうとう訪れなかったということかもしれねえ<音楽>いつの日にか愛しきベアトリーチェの血を引きし忘れがたみが生きていることを源氏は伝えたかったのであろうしかしそれを伝えるのは容易なことではなかったどうして容易じゃないんだろうバカね夏日が知ったら大変よああそうかリオンが突然現れたらジェシカが次期当主じゃなくなっちゃう Strictly speaking, Jessica wasn't the successor to the headship, but since she'd be able to select the successor, it all came to the same thing. <laughs> That's a human echo in a nutshell. The more you learn, the more complicated it becomes. I wonder if any of that had to do with the specific day. That, like, all this happened, this whole thing with this epitaph and killing everybody, if there was any connection to that. Like, maybe, maybe the child、uh, found out about their heritage somehow and just went insane. And I don't know, like, turned into Beatrice? Leon, Kinzo, Natsuki, Kraus, Jessica, and Dare. So, okay, so I guess we'll call instead of calling. Yeah, that's silly of me. Instead of calling this child Claire or, or Canon, I should call them Leon because that's what this child is is the Leon of this world who is the servant. Duh. Alright, so we'll call the kid Leon from now on. Ah, Ware Kosoa, Ware Niste, Ware Ranari. なぜに運命は確認我らを捨ておいて自由気まま身勝手に進むのか People only found the young servant strange for the first month Natsui and Krauss's protest came to naught After all, there was no harm in it So why not indulge in,、uh, Kinzo's whim? Eventually, everyone grew accustomed and began to accept the slightly abnormal everyday life しかしいつもそばにいて同じ待遇であるべきと思っている福音の家の使用人たちは違う彼らは明らかに自分たちとは違う我の扱い日々の小さな子供を蓄積させていったのだった This child has a lot of different names, don't they? ソーチーお疲れ今日はどうだった今日奥様の機嫌最悪マジで窓枠なぞられたただっち掃除を添いって絞られてたマジどうしろと The gospel house treats all the children under its care as family because of this their original names are not spoken there and everyone uses new blessed names instead maybe because the、uh, character is in the word gospel that character is almost always combined with at least one character from the child's original name to make their new name Still, just giving a person a new name doesn't mean they'll accept it so easily. The boys and girls of the Gospel House, living without relatives due to all kinds of circumstances, often feel as though their real first and last names are a bond that's worth holding on to. So, many of the Gospel children hate their names and call, I'll just say like their blessed names, and call each other by nicknames based on their original names. Of course, this is only privately. When in the presence of the house director or other important people, only the blessed names are used. On the job, the blessed names are used. And off the job, the informal nicknames are used. Everyone is very used to living with two names like this, so they're all naturals at switching between the two. なんでヤスだけは三人部屋じゃないわけですか、oh. ?Okay, Yasu? Is... Okay, I'm given way too many names right now, so that's Leon. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's too many names. There's Claire and Leon, and now Yasu. By Yasu, they probably mean me. I can't remember my parents at all, but I was given the family name Yasuda, and apparently my nickname comes from that. 
I wonder if they're all going to go and like break down the door and pick on them. Of course, on days when I'm given work, I return to the mansion right after school and work alongside all the others. I help out with caring for the garden and cleaning up the mansion. I can't do any jobs on my own, so I'm always just helping out. Maybe because I'm young, the adult servants are always kind to me. It seems my fellow Gospel House servants are annoyed by this. That's right, Kumasawa knew about the baby too, so it's like her and Genji are kind of like the uh, like substitute parents. これで同じ給料もらってるとかマジでありえないわ。意味わかんな。あんたに学校あるのは分かってるけど、いつまでもお手伝い感覚じゃなくて、早く一人前になって私たちと同じ仕事しなさいよね。私たち、いつまでもあ
あなたが後宮家の使用人に選ばれたのは本当に不思議だものひょっとすると本当にあなたは誰かが噂していたように後宮家の血筋を引く、oh, wow. so、誰かの隠し子かもしれないね Shannon laughed, saying, Wouldn't that be cool? And then you'd be super rich, too. But I felt a bit doubtful. After all, if that was the case, why did I have to live all alone in the gospel house? Shannon and people like the house director were the only ones who would play with me. I wasn't allowed to play with any other friends, and I spent all my time by myself in my isolated room. Maybe it's because I'm frail and always half asleep, but it has been lonely. I guess they would be frail if they literally got thrown off a cliff. I'm surprised they're still alive. ねえ、ケンジ。あなたは何を、どこまで知っていたの君は目して何も語らないけれど、いつも全てを最初から知っていたんじゃないのかい ?19年前、赤ん坊を抱いた使用人が転落し、君は夏日から報告を受けたね。Oh, wait, yeah. That's right. If that's the case, yeah, because, like, canon would be if this is canon or Yasu or whoever. Yeah, they'd be 19 years old. But it's just like, I thought, okay, well, if, like, if Shannon is 16 and she's the quote unquote bigger sister, maybe that's not literal bigger sister. Like, maybe this person is like, I. But no, because, like, in the flashback, Shannon already looks full grown. I'm so confused. <laughs> It's like the cat box, right? You know, it's like alive or dead. So no yona handan wa watashi ni wa deki kane mashita. So re o handan shita no wa daare? Kimatte ru wa? O- Dou na no? Nanjou sensei? Yoroshi no desu ka na? Watashi ga katatte mo.先生の口からお願いできるのであれば、お願いします。わかりました。事故の時すぐに源氏さんから連絡が入り、秘密裏に診察するように念を押されました。秘密裏に？どうして？ クアドリアンのベアトリーチェさんもそしてその子供であるアカンボウも戸籍のない存在しないはずの人間でした公に戸籍を与える準備は進めておりましたがそ死なれてはどうにも困る時期だったのですでは落ちた使用人は単独事故
金蔵は嘆き悲しんだがその嘆きは悲しみよりも狂気に彩られたものだったおおベアトリーチェよなぜに再び我が元より逃げ去るのか今度こそ過ちを繰り返すまいと誓ったのになぜになぜに源氏は尊敬する主人のことをただ一つだけ信じていないことがあったそれはベアトリーチェの孫を果たして本当に家族として迎え入れられるのか Is he saying that like, as family or did he think that maybe he would do the same thing to that child if that child turned out to be female and be like oh I have another chance the reincarnation and it would just happen all over again 源氏はクワドリアのベアトリーチェにもずっと仕えていたその胸中についても詳しかった彼女が金蔵の寵愛を一心に受け父として敬愛していたこともしかしそれは金蔵の力だった、yeah. Ew, like、Genji was afraid that Kinzo would、uh, have his way with his like what would she be at that point daughter and granddaughter not granddaughter oh I don't know like、uh. 金蔵は彼女をベアトリーチェの生まれ変わりと思い亡きベアトリーチェへの万感の思いの慰み者にしようとしたその思いをクワドリアのベアトリーチェが受け入れきれるわけもない彼女は父と思い尊敬してきた金蔵自らに純血を奪われることになるのであるああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、自分は父と思ってたのに向こうは妻と思ってたはあそれは両立できぬ禁じられた恋金蔵様のお気持ちもわからぬわけではありません金蔵様とて彼女が生まれた時から亡きベアトリーチェ様の面影を映して慰み者にしようなどと思っていたわけではありません私もお酒を飲みながら聞かされたことはあります。私は笑い話と思って聞いておりましたが。育つほどに母に生き写しになる驚きを年を重ねるごとに抑えられぬ禁じられた感情を悲劇が繰り返されるのではないか。私はそう思いました。ベアトリーチェ様は苦しんでおられましたしかしついにご自身の気持ちと金蔵様の気持ちが違うことに理解が及ばなかったのです。So、this brings us back to the last、uh, chapter when Chick Beato was calling Badler Father. Yeah, yep, it's all, it's all coming together. 私はベアトリーチェ様より何度も胸の内を打ち明けられ相談を受けました。Guessing, because Badler knows the whole thing about, he says he understands her. Maybe he knows about this past, and that's why he got very upset about being called. It was like repeating itself. I don't know. I don't know. Because like Badler definitely seems like he's kind of being、uh, shown as like the new potential Kinzo. So maybe he didn't want to like repeat that of what Kinzo did. しかし私には。申し上げられませんでしたそれは確かに言えないね父と敬愛する人があなたを死んだ母の代用品にしようと思ってるなんて一応金蔵さんの名誉のために申し上げる金蔵さんも苦しんでおられた、oh, yes. Poor Kinzo. Uh. 生き写しになる娘が娘と思えなくなると。I'm so sorry that I don't have the same sympathy for Kinzo that these people seem to. I was so sorry that I don't have the same sympathy for Kinzo that these people seem to. I was so sorry that I don't have the same sympathy for Kinzo that these people seem to. 父として注いだしかしならばなぜに娘に母と同じ名を与えたのかああ
金蔵の罪は彼女が生を受けた時より始まっているのだ。I like that she's just cutting through it, be like, you guys are being way too easy on him, like from the beginning, it seemed like this is what he wanted. 彼女を出産し、その引き換えのように死んだベアトリーチェ。その名を、そのまま娘に与えた。金蔵は彼女が生まれたその瞬間から、彼女をベアトリーチェの生まれ変わりだと決めていたのである。つまりリオンとは悲劇を犯した金蔵がその罪を悔い後ろ宮家に正しい形で迎え入れた存在ということだそういうことよ他のかけらの話をするとお尻をつねられそうだけれどリオンが迎え入れられながら再び金蔵が過ちを犯すかけらなんてのもあったりして。そのかけらも探してみる<笑>見たくありませんそんなもの人の人生のあらゆる場所に最悪の可能性や妄想を勝手に混ぜ込んでその運命を嘲笑うのがあなたの仕事なんですか残念なことにこいつはそういう悪魔だ魔女よ失礼ね<笑>源氏はそういう最悪の未来を予見しより良い未来になるよう。At least Genji's a real one. わざとは赤ん坊は虚偽を伝えたというわけだ。I mean, I don't, I don't really like the fact that, you know, like he knew all the stuff that was happening, but I know he's like, he's the servant. He can't really do anything about it. I know, like, he did try and kind of redeem himself there by protecting the child, but. そうよ。実の娘に手をかけて、ほとぼりも冷めない男よ。ベアトリーチェの気持ちを知り、同情していた源氏は、金蔵のことをたやすく信じることができなかったの。金蔵の忠実なしもべである源氏が。So it does seem like this child, child was obviously a girl, right? Because if it was a boy, there would be no worry about Kenzo doing something. So. 源氏は講師をしっかりと使い分けられる男よ。So, if Yasu is、uh, canon, then is canon actually a girl? Huh. Okay. So, that explains a little bit of the age. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait. If, okay, so Yasu is actually 19, but they said they lowered the age and said it was three years younger. That's the same age as Shannon. I'm so confused now. Because Shannon's 16 and Canon, I guess, is about the same age. I, I don't know. I don't know. ゲンジはおそらく入念に生まれとしもごまかそうとしたんだろう19年前の赤ん坊のことを金蔵だけでなく夏日だって簡単には忘れないはずそこにその年に生まれた不審な幼い使用人が入ってきたら夏日の女の顔がピンときたはずだ Had the child been too sick to go to school for three years? Or had the age been faked so that Natsu wouldn't figure everything out? いずれにせよ、この世界のお前は、年を3つ、少なく教えられているはずだ。ごめんと、この世界のリオンは、生まれつき、年を3つ、ごまかされてる。虚弱で、小柄。発育不良だったしね、案外ごまかせたみたいだわ。源氏は見届けねばと思った金蔵が果たしてベアトリーチェの子をことして受け入れられるや否や適齢になるまでを福音の家で過ごさせ幼き使用人として呼び寄せる父も子も互いに互いを知らない
源氏は思ったもしも真に親子の愛情があるならば金蔵はこの子に亡き母と娘の面影を見るだろう And time continued to pass. Days slid by as he quietly watched over Beatrice's child. Sound like, yeah, he was, Genji was more of a father than Kinza was, which is probably for the best. Dai Nisho, Hazimete no Yujin. ヤスあんたちびぼうきどうしたの窓枠掃除用に使ってなかったっけああ、the small broom is a small thin broom that looks like a large paintbrush. We use it to clear out the dust in small corners like window frames. It's one of the cleaning tools I was put in charge of. しっかりしなさいよあんたに任せたでしょ何やってんのよ、どんくさいほら、急いで探しておいで。奥様に見つかる前に。急いで急いでどうしたヤスがチビボウキまたどこかでなくしてきたのよこいつ物をなくす天才<笑>だからヤスに物を持たすなといつも言っているそいつはそそっかしいからいつも物をなくす<笑> Well I imagine Yasu probably has some brain damage from being thrown off a goddamn cliff I feel like a lot of things can be explained with that 一生懸命やってるんだからそんなこと言っちゃいけません。Once again, they're like, I can see that they're intentionally not saying, they're just saying this kid, you know, instead of saying you, she or he is working hard. But I have to think it's a girl because, like, Genji, I don't think would be so nervous about、uh, Kinzo finding out about the child if it was a boy. ほら、急いで探してらっしゃい。待ってるから。Okay. Not wanting to hear the servants complain even more, I spun around and headed off. If you lose a tool, you get in trouble. If no one knows who did it, we all get yelled at. So one of them will probably tell Madam it was my fault. Still, it is my fault I lost it in the first place. I, wondered I wonder when I lost it. When? When? We did a big clean of the entire chapel today. The chapel is a large building behind the mansion. However, no one ever goes near it normally. Even so, we're ordered to clean the chapel a few times each year. Kinzo calls it a sacred building, so Natsu is very strict about it. We cleaned every nook and cranny from top to bottom. It took all day. I'd been put in charge of cleaning the window frames, but I was also given many smaller tasks. While those small jobs kept me busy, I must have completely forgotten about the small broom and left it lying around somewhere. I hate myself for doing this. This isn't the first time this has happened. It happens all the time. Every time I set something down, it always disappears. It goes somewhere else, vanishes. I've come to think these might be pranks by the witch Beatrice. The ghost of the witch Beatrice borrowed the power of Rokunjima's evil spirits to become reborn. Until Kumasawa san told me, I never knew the meaning of the shrine on the rocks by the sea. Kumasawa ga katarishi wa. 漁師たちの間に語り継がれし古き古き物語かつて六軒島は悪事記島と呼ばれ人の魂を食らう恐ろしい悪霊が住んでいたと伝える物語ねえ熊沢僕たちにも聞かせてよ恐ろしい恐ろしい六軒島の悪霊の物語よ<笑>いいですともいいですとも六軒島はかつては小豆島という名でしたでももっと大昔の呼び名は悪時期島でした島に近寄る船乗りを海の底に引きずり込んで魂を食らうとうわそんな恐ろしい悪霊がこの島にいるんでございますよ<笑>それは熊沢の好む新しい使用人がやってくるたびに聞かせるお約束の階段普段ならばくだらないと笑い捨てられるそれも後宮家の屋敷以外に何も存在せず嵐の夜には不気味なうなりを聞かせる
この寂しい六軒島では誰もあの海岸の社は悪霊を封じ込めるためだったのね親方様も薄気味悪いオカルト趣味をお持ちだしお屋敷も薄気味悪くて何かが潜んでそう<笑>そうですとも旅の修験者がようやく抑え込むのが精一杯かろうじて封じ込められてはいますが今も夜な夜な犠牲者を求めて夜の屋敷を徘徊しているのですよ。<笑>親方様の書斎見た見たわまるで悪魔の実験室だわ親方様は悪魔の研究をしているって噂だよ死んだ愛人ベアトリーチをよみがえらせる研究だって言ってたわその魔法の実験の生贄に子供たちを呼び寄せてるんじゃないかって。なんかね昔書斎に行ったまま帰ってこない子がいたらしいよきっと亡霊のベアトリーチェの新しい肉体にする実験の犠牲になったんだわ<笑>そうですともベアトリーチェ様が肉体を求め亡霊となってさまよっておられるのです2階の貴賓室はベアトリーチェ様の住みお部屋を掃除するときはくれぐれも礼を失することはあってはなりませんよさもないと<笑>思春期の想像力たくましき少年少女たちにとって階段は恐ろしいながらも魅力的なおとぎ話であった一つの物語を共有し共感することで連帯感が生まれるすると教官は義務となりそれを受け入れることが共同体に加わる通過儀礼のようになるずっと昔からそれは繰り返され受け継がれてきたのだええ私も六軒島でお勤めをするようになってすぐ熊沢さんや先輩方に聞かされました。僕も聞かされたよ。Oh, oh, 主に姉さんにね。いや、それは違うね。それは違うね。それは違うね。私も聞かされましたとも。主に熊沢さんでした。The gang's all here. 臆病そうなシャノンはともかく、男の子のカノンや大の大人のゴーダまで階段を信じたの僕は別に信じてたわけでは。階段やジンクスなどは。どこの職場にもあるものです。私がかつて勤めておりましたホテルにもいくつもそういう話がありましたとも。つまりバカバカしい話だと思って気にしなかった空気を読むってとこはあったかもしれない。ですね。階段もジンクスもその職場のローカルルールです。それに新参者が背けば。打ち解けることはできませんからねそういうこと魔女なんているものかバカバカしいなんて言うと姉さんと喧嘩になるからね上辺だけでも合わせた方が楽だったしもうそんな気持ちじゃバッチが当たるよ大怪我をした人もいたらしいんだから<笑>そんな感じでどこの職場でもそういう話はあるものです職場の階段と会社創業者のとんでも武勇伝はどんなに突拍子がなくても受け入れて信じるそれが新しい職場に溶け込むということですともふーんみんな大人だね,人だねいわんちいちわんどうあらんのチャップルにオーダーをクリーンダムサーチングカーフリーのあらぬ places I might have left it I'd been cleaning the windows with it, so I'd probably set it down near one of those. When did I leave it behind, I wonder? Now that I think about it, I don't think I had it anymore when I reached the last window, so I must have completely forgotten to clean that window frame. Ah! 
Through the window, I could see the others leaving in groups. Shannon turned around and glanced up in my direction, looking worried. I don't want to be responsible for making everyone wait, so it's actually a relief that they're leaving without me. Still, naive though it may have been, I wanted them to wait. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, those must be some really high up windows. Uh, accident could definitely happen there. The sun's beginning to set, and the chapel's getting darker and darker. I don't want to be hang around in a place like this all by myself. I'd better find the small broom fast. So I wonder who the first friend is. I thought maybe it was Jessica or Shannon, but maybe not. No, that's not all. I also need to clean the window frames I forgot. Madam is strict. She'll probably check all the windows carefully. If she does, I'll be the one that gets in trouble tomorrow. But really, where did I lose it? Why did I lose it? The darkness grew and grew. When it becomes dark enough, I need a light before long. I began to panic. I dashed around and around to the chapel, tears streaming down my face. As I stumbled about pathetically, I could feel the pressure of a prankster witch giggling at me from under the door and up by the ceiling. The ghost of Beatrice, the master's mistress, wanders about in search of a body to this very day. As she gains the power of Rokunjima's evil spirits, her strength steadily grows and she waits for the day of her resurrection. And for some reason, she singled me out. See, this doesn't sound like canon, though, because, like, he said he doesn't believe in it, really. If I ever take my eyes off something for a second, she snatches it away and hides it. This isn't the first time this has happened. Whenever I look away, keys, handkerchiefs, pencils, erasers, all of them vanish almost right away. I feel like it's one of the, uh, the servants, not Shannon, but who are, like, jealous of Yasu, who is doing this intentionally to get them in trouble. I put things down plain to use them later, or because it's obviously the right place to leave them, and still they disappear as soon as I turn around. It isn't something hiding them, or it isn't someone hiding them as a prank. It's happened many times when I'm the only person around. Oh, well, never mind. Everyone always says I'm too careless and forgetful, and they laugh at me, get mad at me. I do try to be alert, but like some kind of bad joke, I lose things easily when I forget about them for just a short while. So sometimes I think, I bet this eraser is going to disappear, just like everything else, and I stare at it. It's the only time when it doesn't disappear. Nothing disappears when I'm alert, so then I think I'm safe. But the moment I start to think that and relax just a little bit, a different thing will disappear instead. Why is it always me? <laughs> Ooh, who's this? <laughs> I don't recognize that laugh. That didn't sound like Beatrice. Yeah, I hear it. I can hear the witch laughing at me as I lamely run around in circles. <laughs> doesn't have that same Beatrice laugh that it normally has. Listening to that voiceless laugh, I finally slam my hands against the wall, crying tears of frustration. Please, just stop it. Why do you always hide my things and get me in trouble? The witch answers. That definitely is not Beato's voice. Who is that voice? <laughs> I felt so frustrated. I knew all along that that was the reason, but the witch being so blatant about it was incredibly annoying. I can tell. That small broom is somewhere in this chapel. No, that's not quite it. Until the very moment I walked up to this window, I'm sure it was right by this window frame. That's right, I'm sure I put it right here by this window. But the prankster witch Beatrice uses her magic. And just before I reach this spot, she instantly teleports the small broom to the next window over. The instant I approach the next window, a hole appears beneath the small broom, swallowing up- Oh! Is that- Um... Oh my gosh, why am I forgetting literally all of the witches' names? So, Ronave and Virgilia, now I remember their names. This one is... Gap. I think that's Gap's voice? Because I just think, like, the black hole, like, a hole appears. So try to think, who does Gap represent? Virgilia represents Kumasawa. Uh, Ronave represents Genji. But who does she represent? 
and it comes out by the next window after that. It lands right there, perfectly still, as though it was there the whole time. And this happens over and over again. Maybe, like, she's just kind of like a representation of somebody who just swallows up things from Yasu, like, losing them. So I run up to one window. The small broom falls into a magic hole and goes to the next window. When I go to that window, it goes to the next window. That's exactly how she's teasing me, I could tell. So no matter how much I search it, it'll be useless. But if I stop searching, it'll just be sitting there by one window or another. So, this isn't a search. It's a test of endurance. I keep chasing after the small broom, and Beatrice keeps making it escape to the next window over, trying to make me give up. I mean, she... I say she. I don't know, Yasu. I'll just say they. They say it's Beatrice, but this sounds more like a gap prank. This is an eternal chase that'll end only when one of us gives up. So I keep going around in circles, searching the windows, even when I know I've already searched them. If it's not by this one, then the next one, and the next one. And the witch keeps moving the small broom to the next window, and the next one. Just give it a rest. How long are you going to make fun of me? This isn't the only time. You always do this. Always. <laughs> the shrill, voiceless laugh of the formless witch continues to mock my sobbing. The witch is right beside me, laughing at me. As I dash around the chapel, she's following along with me, taunting me. Then, she must be there. She's right behind me just over my shoulder, cackling away at this very moment. I know that turning around won't help, since she has no form. I can try to look, but I mustn't look with my eyes. Once my eyes tell me there's nothing there, I won't be able to see anymore. I learned that from the director of the Gospel House. You mustn't try to look with your real eyes. You must see with your mind's eye. The whole world is filled with God's love. In the many blessings of everyday life, one can find gods, God and angels, and the Holy Ghost. If you look with your eyes, you won't be able to see them, so you won't be able to feel them or understand them. Instead, you must quietly understand them with the eye of your heart. You don't look and have your eyes reflect their image. You see and picture them in your mind. In this way, I learned how to recognize beings not of this world at the Gospel House. This power doesn't only allow you to see God, it allows you to see all those not of this world. Please, stop it now. Stop this prank. I'm clumsy, bad at my job, and I do forget where I put things a lot. But I know which things were my fault, and which things were because of your pranks. <laughs> I'm usually called Yasu when one of the older servants is laughing behind my back at some mistake I've made. So when I hear that name, it feels bad. She deliberately called me not by the blessed name given to me by the Gospel House, but by that unblessed name. Upsetting the heart is a classic move for evil beings to make. That is the way of attempting to prevent others from perceiving them. To beings like witches, being understood is like shoving them out into the light of day. It won't work. In the Gospel House, I learned how to perceive those not of this world. So I already understand you. It won't work. I understand you now, and you're in my grasp. No matter how many unpleasant things you say, you'll just expose the ugliness of your heart. Without turning around, I slowly let my field of vision fill the entire chapel. It was as though the viewpoint of my soul was floating out from the shell of my head. See? Inch by inch, my field of vision is floating out of my head and drifting upwards. 
as I looked down at myself, standing there, with head hanging and eyes tightly shut. My mind's eye, very slowly, rose up to the ceiling of the chapel. And when I looked down from there, I looked down at myself, standing in the center of the chapel, and the witch standing behind me. Apparently, the witch realized that she was being seen. Hey, it is Gap! She turned around and raised her eyes to look at my mind's eye, floating by the ceiling. I thought her voice sounded familiar. At last, I could see the witch, Bea Terice, with my mind's eye. <laughs> so, she's being called Bea Terice. The demonic lips twisted into an ugly curve. It was clearly a challenging, repulsive demon smile. She wore a blood-red dress and hat. The design was completely different from anything humans wore. Her hair was blonde. It had countless beautiful curls, like a, like a princess from a picture book. But there was no trace of cuteness about her. You said witch, or you sad witch, who can be seen by no one, heard by no one. Have you been pulling these pranks all the time just to catch the attention of humans? If so, then I've just saved you, because I understand you, and perceive you. It's getting dark. I don't have time to play with you anymore. Please give it back. My cleaning tool. But as soon as I get close, you'll move it to the next window over. <laughs> the witch snapped her fingers, and various things throughout the chapel were sucked into black pitfalls beneath them, disappearing. No, they didn't disappear. The instant they vanished into the dark holes, other dark holes appeared in completely different parts of the chapel, and the vanished objects fell out of those. Chairs, musical scores, clocks, and vases started appearing and disappearing all across the room. It felt as though, or it felt as though, countless tools were flying about the chapel. I wonder where a witch draws the line between pranks and magic. When she snapped her fingers again, all the objects flying about so energetically returned to their original spots, and silence fell. So this is the first friend. It's interesting, even when we're getting like the truth, there's still has this weird thing with like witches and what is real and what is not. <laughs> The gospel director told me I mustn't try to see evil beings. If you see them, they will haunt you. Now that I understood this witch, a bond had been formed between us. This is kind of like what would happen with uh, Maria, right? Where it's like she thought she had met a witch and she was kind of isolated just like Yasu is. And they have this bond now and a friend. I'll talk to you from time to time. So, will you stop pulling pranks like this? 
遊び相手であるわ<笑>遊びならばいたずらはつきものであろう、まあ、This bait routine is not nearly as nice as the,、uh, as the other one <笑>まあよい今日はこれで十分楽しんだ日が陰り月が満ちてきたわらわもそなたの前にいつまでも姿を現すのは疲れる今日はこれにてお開きとしようではないかほうき一本でそなたとたっぷり遊べた Please give it back いやだこれはそなたとの出会いの記念に文句はないな If I said I'm not, would you give it back to me? わらわは人間の言うことなど聞きはせぬしかし友人の言うことには耳を傾けぬでもない If you give it back, I'll acknowledge you as a friend. Oro canal, Ningen me. Sorega me yok taking a torriki to the Momotaka. Warawani torriki o mochkake takuba. Shimpi no mahojin no hitots mo egaite me seo. To eitai tokoro danga. Sonata no moshi dewa. What do you mean you might? So, Nata, oh, Waga, you jin to stem, Ukate, yoi, monoka. As Nani, Shiro, Majo, wa, mano, Jack. Kotai, o motomeratara, Sokto, Kobamuno, ga, Majo, to you, mono, yo. All right, then I'll leave the small broom with you. Please give it back when you decide to become my friend. Hm? このほうきそなたとの友情の架け橋となるや否かしばらく預からせてもらいそれを迷う越を楽しませてもらおうぞ When the witch snapped her fingers, the broom for which I'd searched so long fell out of a hole in the air, landing between the fingers she had just snapped それではさらばだそなたとの遊戯退屈はしなかったぞぜひまた遊ぼうぞ If you're my friend, that is. 猫はネズミをいたぶるとき友情を育んでからいたぶるというのか<笑> The witch faded away as she did, my mind's eye slowly closed. When I returned to my body, I felt suddenly tired and let out the breath I'd been holding. Of course, when I turned around, there was no one to be seen. I couldn't feel the witch's presence anywhere anymore. It had gotten very dark by this time. I decided to leave the chapel. There is no point in searching for the small broom any longer. Not until the witch decides to give it back to me. Now, how can I interpret this event as, like, realistic things? Was this just Yasu, like... I don't know, coming up with some sort of explanation for why they keep losing stuff and be like, oh no, the, the, the witch took it. It's not my fault. I went out of the chapel. The chapel key had been left in the lock. I used it to lock the door. What am I going to do about the small broom? There's nothing I can do. I can't even blame the witch. I must acknowledge that I'm responsible for giving the witch a chance. Nuh. Ooh, what's this? I happened to glance downward. And saw a small broom lying there by my feet. It was the broom I'd been searching for all this time. Don't tell me that it'll be swallowed up by a dark hole the instant I bend over to pick it up. No, this is a sign from the witch, a sign that she acknowledges me as a friend. I love that the idea of like Gap just, or Beatrice or whatever, saying all that stuff about like, uh, you know, I get to decide these things and I'm gonna think about it, I'm gonna take my time, and then immediately just be like, okay, we're friends. I picked it up. Oh, I am one yet many. Hono Simanikite, Hazimete Dicta Yuzinwa, Doyara Ningen de Vanayo Data. Scassi, Omoika is a basoreva tozen. Major no Simade de Kiru Yuzinwa, Dos de Majo de Nakaro. Corena, Wareto Beato Ritten, Hazimete no de Idea. It's interesting that the person that we Assume becomes Beatrice, as also claimed to meet Beatrice. 
勘のいい諸君はお気づきのようにこれは本当のベアトリーチェとの出会い Now we're gonna get the flip side be like here's what really happened 我がベアトリーチェと呼ぶその魔女は後に他の名で呼ばれることとなるしかし人ならざるものであることに違いはないそして人ならざるものに縁を持つことは人ならざる世界への縁を持つこととともなる我は未だこれより六軒島で数奇なる運命をたどることになるとは知る由もなかったのである本当、ヤスはどんくさいだけじゃなくよく物をなくしたわねなのにさも私はなくしてません確かに置いたのに誰かが取ったんですみたいな目つきをしてて本当にイライラしたわ集中力のない子だった無意識でぼんやり行動してるから自分の行動がいい加減になるでも最初のうちだけですよ途中からは注意するようになってそういうこともなくなって立派になりましたしおんそうだっけまあその程度できて当たり前なんだけどねその当たり前ができるようになるのが成長というものですとも皆さんだって何事も最初から要領が良かったわけではないでしょうというか要領が悪かったら後宮家には推薦されないわ私たちはエリートなのよ幼いからできないとかそんなの言い訳にならないわけだなヤスが成長とともに要領を覚えるなら成長してから後宮家へ来ればよかっただけの話そんな一生懸命学校とお仕事を両立させて頑張ってるのにみんなちょっと厳しすぎると思いますその厳しい中から選ばれたのが私たちでしょ私たちに甘やかす義理はないわつくづくヤスってなんであんなどんくさいのに選ばれたのかさっぱりだわ福音の家の誰もが憧れる後宮家使用人への推薦厳しい選考をくぐり抜けて栄光を勝ち取った先輩使用人たちから見ればヤスはどうして推薦を得られたのか不思議なくらいいろいろと要領が悪かったもちろん都市相応には努力しているしかしそれに納得できない先輩使用人たちはいつしかヤスに断るごとに小意地悪に接するようになるのである後宮家での生活に慣れはしてもいまだ友人の一人も作れない。I wonder what their relationship was with Jessica. If they were going to school together, maybe Jessica just like kind of avoided them or ignored them? いや、いることにはいるが。Because you think that like Jessica, you know, being the like having someone about her age that she would just, because she seems to just kind of cling on to people around her age because like she's kind of isolated at home. So you took him a r i m a s i n e Isomashi t o k i n i k a n i t e Yose Sanga, it as a demonstrate in Janaika Sira. It's a witch pulling pranks on me. I mean, I know I put it right there, and all I did was glance around a bit, and it disappeared. The witch pranked me again. I left my master key behind. Madam found out, and I got in a lot of trouble. Why, when I always put my master key back in my pocket after I use it, why was it in a place like that? And this is the third time it's happened. 
The first two times, I realized it wasn't in my pocket and managed to find it before anyone found out. I like the idea that Yasu just has, like, memory issues, maybe? They, like, you know, people who just, like, lose track of, like, like they have very short-term memory or they'll have gaps in their memory. Ha, <laughs> gap. So maybe they legit don't remember where they put things, but they're using this as an excuse because I refuse to believe that it's, it's an actual, you know, Gaff is the one doing these things. But the third time, Madam found it. I was really mad and frustrated with that witch in the red dress. <laughs> A charm? Kumasawa-san started fishing through the kitchen cupboard, saying, Now where did that get to? The thing she finally found and brought to me was a kite string. She stretched it out for me to see, then used a knife to cut off a 50-centimeter piece. I like how she calls it a charm, but it's literally just like a tether. <laughs> maybe Kumasawa like kind of thinks that maybe the other servants are doing this to her to get her in trouble, so she's just she's just like, oh, just do this, but it's just like basically a practical way of not losing your your things that you have. Spider webs? Like the ones the evil spirits of Rokunjima fear? そう。<笑> That does make sense. It really does look like a spider web when pulled tight. Since Kumasawa-san says so, it must have some pretty strong evil repelling power. I can just ask her to make several of these kite strings for me, and then I can tie them to everything I don't want to lose. But clearly, that won't be very practical. I'd have strings all over me. And what about the things I can't keep tied to me, like pencils and erasers? <laughs> <laughs> Make a house? You mean build a roof and a bed and stuff? <laughs>お家を作るのではなく、お家を決めてあげるのですよ。例えば、このお宅を切った包丁さんも、僕もお家に帰るって。寂しがり屋さんだから。<laughs> This kid was all literally just gonna tell her, like, just have a designated spot where you put it. Like, the knife goes in the, the knife blocker in the knife drawer. Poor thing. We need to get Mr. Knife home. Kumasawa-san returned the knife to the knife holder under the sink, even though she had done something so ordinary. I felt slightly moved, as though the lost little knife had finished his adventure and finally returned home. Once he slid into the spot he was supposed to be in, everyone in the Knife family was together again, and they all started talking happily. Then Kumasawa-san said we should give them their privacy, and shut the door. Take them home right away. ほら, 
さっきタコ糸で縛ったままそこに置きっぱなしのマスターキーさんも「早くポケットのおうちに帰りたい」ってクスンクスン泣いてますよ。Sob, sob. I'm lonely. The voice of the lonely master key finally reached my ears. I hurried to pick it up, took the other end of the string, and tied it to my pocket button, and put the key in my pocket. Hora, Tadaima! Master Key san mo sabishi gariya da kara. O shigoto de tsukatta ato wa sugu o uchi e kaishi de agemashou ne. Koyu o tomodachi o skoshi zutsu fuyashite ikeba. Beatrice sama mo. だんだんいたずらはできなくなりますよ。ジェンコー・ファッド。When break time was over and I stood up to see what I should help with next, I felt a tug and the key ring with the master key fell to the floor. Once again, I had left the master key on the side of the sofa and forgotten it was there. The instant I stood up, the string pulled on it and it fell to the floor. Without Kumasawa san's spider web charm, I would probably have left that master key lying here again. The master key left all alone would have been led away by the witch and disappeared. Phew, that was close. And once again, I heard the master key, who had been almost left alone, cry and tell me it wanted to go home. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go back home to my pocket. Now the servants will probably just make fun of Yasu for just like talking to themselves and talking to objects. Yay, I'm home. Back at last. Thank goodness. I almost got pranked by the witch again. Nanto, ma, hito de musubuto wa omoshiroi mane wo. All of a sudden, I heard a wild, shocked voice from over my shoulder. It was a voiceless voice, a witch's voice, the kind you can't hear unless you try. Beatrice? So de aruzo, waga tomo yo. ぼんやりとまた鍵を置き忘れるからそれでからかってやろうと思っていたら。It's a spider web charm that Kumasawa san showed me. It seems to work very well. うん。悔しいが効き目はあるぞ。とても触れたいとは思えぬ。そなたも。カミソリの歯に指を当て横に滑らせたくはあるまい。Oh, that's a scary example. My finger hurts just thinking about it. しかし。よかったではないか。また鍵をなくしたと、夏日に怒られずに済んだぞ。<笑>わらわのおかげだな。か、Why? わらわが腹立たしかったからこそ、まじないを覚えたのであろう。そのまじないで、そなたは鍵をまたしても置き忘れるといううっかりを、こうして防げたではないか。つまり、わらわのおかげも同然ということよ。<笑>感謝されるのも道理であろう。Mm, I really don't like it, but she does have a point. Because of all the trouble Beatrice caused me, I told Kumasawa san and learned the charm from her, even without the witch's pranking. If I didn't have the charm, I would have gone to my next job and left the master key here. That happened, and surely I wouldn't have been able to find the key, and it would have been a huge mess. こういうのを一罰百回という。わらわは友人としてそなたのミスを過剰にいたずらして思い知らせることでこうしてそなたを立派に教育したというわけなのだうーん I get the feeling Kumasawa san's the one I should be thinking not you やれやれ魔女とはつくづく感謝されぬ家業よ<笑> Anyway I win this time. Okay, I need to get back to work now. Yo, Karo Tomo, Waga Tomo, yo. Konkai wa kachi o yuru sozo. Saredo, Warawa wa akirame ga warui. Kono make o tori kae su beku. Igo sara ni masu masu ni. Sonata no misu o saga so to ukagai tsukeru de arozo. Kokoro se yo. Sosoka si sonata ga oki wa sreru kodogu nado. Ikura de mo aru. それらすべてにタコ糸を縛るわけにもいくまい。<笑> the spider web charm isn't the only one I have. I also learned the take them home charm. I won't let you have your way anymore. <笑>どの程度そなたがやれるものか。それにしても、なんとも晴れやかな笑顔を見せよって。魔女が来るのは
笑う角でなく泣きっ面がふさわしいもう休み時間は終わっているぞせいぜい今日も先輩たちの足を引かぬように仕事に精を出すがよかろう Sure, today is Sunday and the weather is wonderful. I'd better do my best. So, so, Lane no Kigenga Asakara Warui. Meo Awasen Hoga Yokaro. Sorekara Suina no Soga de Teorzo. Miz no Haita Bakets no Chikaku deva. Tune ni Chu is Ruga Yokarozo. Sonata no Koto Kitowaga Kitao Uragirazu. バケツをひっくり返して叱られてくれることを心待ちにしている Thank you, Beatrice Back when I could not yet see her I simply hated this prank loving witch But now that I could talk with her It seemed to me she was not all bad Of course, I felt no need to be grateful to her The witch Beatrice despises boredom And subsides uh, uh, Subsits Subsists? Yeah, <laughs> that whatever that word is. Subsists, I think, on mocking the misfortune of others. Humans and witches are different, incompatible beings, and yet it felt as though we could become friends. Of course, she was still a witch. I could not afford to be careless. However, not being careless is a very good thing. Using charms and tricks to pay attention so that her pranks would no longer work on me was not a bad thing by any means. Those techniques would be useful for my job and my life, even without the witch's pranks. Yes, this witch called Beatrice would go to any lengths to make a point. I learned it was possible to build up a friendship through verbal abuse. わたしの教えたおまじないをしっかり守っているようでしたとも。いちいちたこいとでしばって。あるいはいちいちお家へ帰るって。え、時折口に出してやってました。まるでお道具とおままごとをしてるみたいでとても可愛らしかったですよ。
源氏様お疲れ様です皆大掃除ご苦労だった普段使うことも少ない客室だがいつ何時大切なお客様を止めることになるやもわからぬ清掃もまた寸分の気の緩みもあってはならん無論です使用人一同心得ておりますそうあってほしい見回ったところこれを拾ったこれは誰のであるか Genji took a master key ring out of his pocket. Apparently, someone had dropped their master key. Oh, I wonder if、uh, Yasu will get their revenge. If they have it on their string and it was one of the other girls. All the servants swung around to look at me, the usual offender. Nani? Mata Yasu? So, so, I can't get my kim a say you. What does she want to do? Mot the way. Conna dies in a mono. Otos Wakagana. Mina, what? Mot the mass. Uh oh. Watch, I bet just this girl. <laughs> the person, she's not saying it's her, that she's got her, she's just laying into Yasu. Genji-sama's face was as expressionless as ever. He's crying on the inside. He's like, oh, I'm so proud. However, those were unmistakably words of praise. So, this is not a good thing. That's a good thing. That's right. Wareva Hokorasku Nazuki, Man Men no Emio Kabiruna, Kono Hi, Kono Toki, Kono Sunkan no Hokorasigena Taikenwa, Ware no Yosho no Kiokuni, Vasregata each page of Kizamukoto Tonar, Sareba, Genjiga Mitsketaru Kangiwa Dare no Mono. I knew it. There was only one servant who hadn't raised their key. As she muttered, it has to be Yasu's key. Of course it's not mine. And fished in her pocket, her face went pale. Hibi <laughs> That's Genji's. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. The older servant turned red and hung her head. Behind her, though no one else could see it, was the witch. Wagatomuamohaya <laughs> Please don't prank people other than me. No, nothing. Stay at Tarito Moots Moriva Naikirido. Don't say to it's more bacanisarete Ruarega. Yo Yaku Muneno Hareta, it's Nichideat. Kono Hio Sakaini. Yo Yaku Vareva. Usuromiake no Sionin Tosteno Sekatsuni. なれたと自覚できるようになるのである。褒められると自分は認められたって気持ちになるよね。大事なことだ。人の成長に欠かせぬ。人は成長するとどん。まず余裕が生まれる。それまで本当にこれで正しいのかと怯えながらしていた仕事が自信を持ってなせるようになるのだ確かに気楽になれば余裕も生まれるね余裕が生まれるとどうなるのかしら日々を楽しめるようになる現実風に言えば気を緩ませることができるとでも言おうか気を張りっぱなしじゃ疲れてしまうそれは良いことだねってことはそれってつまり
サボれるようになるということサボるといえば聞こえは悪いしかし要領よく仕事をこなし余った時間で日々を楽しむことは決して悪いことではないぞそういう時間は人間を豊かにしてくれるものだそういえばゴーダはよく仕事の合間にクロスワードパズルをしているね余った材料で勝手に創作料理を作ったりもしてるわ適度に遊び気分をリフレッシュさせるのは効率上も悪いことではなかろう創作料理も遊び心と仕事の融合と言えるあの源氏とって誰も見ていぬところでは程よくサボっているはずだぞテレビを見たり主の酒をくすねたり小難しい本を読んでいたりしているわあの源氏が<笑>要はうまく仕事の合間を縫って要領よく遊ぶということだ過ぎれば気の緩みとも言われようしかし仕事と遊びのメリハリがつけられるようになって初めて人は一人前になるのだ詰まるところ仕事だけで精一杯なうちは半人前ということよじゃああの子は仕事の合間に遊ぶということを覚えたってあの生真面目な子がサボりを覚えるなんてちょっと考えづらいね交流を覚えた親切にしてくれる熊沢との仲を深め本の貸し借りとその感想を語り合う関係を得た、oh, yeah, there was Chick Beato was talking to Kumasawa、uh, and got books from her, right? Like to learn about Beato Riche. 我にも学校にて友人はいたが仕事の都合もあり友情を深め合うには至ってなかった気取らぬジェシカも親しくしてはくれたの夏日の幻名もあり一緒に遊ぶこともできなかった Okay. I always wonder about Jessica. I didn't think Jessica would ever be intentionally unkind, but it seems like they weren't super close. そんな我にとっていつも母のように優しくしてくれる熊沢は最も親しい存在であった孫ほども離れた二人のこと駆け回って遊ぶわけではない熊沢の趣味に興味を持ったのだ熊沢の趣味って何かしら本だ意外かもしれぬがあの熊沢なかなかに推理小説を好んでおったあミステリーノーベルズ This may be where Yasu or AK b a t e r i c h e came up with this whole thing about like how to set up this whole murder mystery どんな本か関心を持つうちに自分も読んでみることに It's where they became interested in like locked rooms and how to carry out I guess like the perfect Crime? I don't know. So, no, Torio. Swedish shows it to a Yominagara ni Katara no Monakana cani tanoshi. Sudeni Kotaio Shiru Kumasawa ni Stemo, Waka Kitsega, Dono Yona Swedi or Misser no Ka Kikuna was a Zoya Tanoshkata ni Chigai or my. It's like you guys with me. I'm not calling myself an intellect, but that's kind of why I'm why I imagine after you guys have read the story, you like to watch Let's Plays to see what other people, how they interpret it, what kind of theories they come up with. Muron. いきなり熊沢の読む難解なものから入りはしなかったまずはおすすめを聞き学校の図書室から探してきて読んだ使用人室にも持ち込み休憩の合間などに少しずつ読み進めたそして新しい推理が浮かぶたびにそれを熊沢に話しすでに答えを知っている熊沢はニヤニヤと笑いながら我の推理に相づちを打つそれが我にとっての楽しい時間だった。All right, well, I said at the beginning of this episode that,、uh, you know, hopefully we were going to, you know, get into, you know, the culprit, and we're getting a lot of backstories, and yet, even now, we're being sort of introduced to some new characters. So there's Claire, who seems to be、uh, the child of Beatrice, aka Leon. Uh, who is also called Yasu.、Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Yasu, Yasu, I assume it's Yasu. And Yasu is,、uh, they are the child of Kinzo and Beatrice. They did come from the,、um, the, the place,、uh, the orphanage where、uh, Shannon and Cannon came from. 
it I I don't know. I thought it was going to maybe be Shannon. Like, you know, the Beatrice was Shannon thing. But Shannon is speaking to Yasu, but we haven't seen Canon. It seems to be pointing to Canon, but then there's the whole thing about the ages. Uh the Yasu seems quite younger than um but we also know Canon seems to be about the same age as Jessica. Uh, close to the same age as I'm just I'm so confused I'm like I feel like all of my theories have just been like toppled but we know it's a servant uh the child of Kinzo I don't know in true Umaneko fashion uh we are getting answers and yet I am very confused at the same time <laughs> um but we're seeing the backstory about their lonely life uh I guess creating uh, a friend in a witch similar to what Maria did Maybe we can see how that Beatrice, uh, this Yasu person, probably became friends with uh, Mario over their shared loneliness and wanting to believe in witches. So that's pretty interesting, and I can't wait to find out more about Yasu. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Um, I tried to do a little bit of a longer episode uh, this week. So we will continue on and see what, uh, what more we can learn about Yasu in the next episode. Uh, this was a really good episode. It was mysterious, but yet we're still getting some, like, backstory and, and answers of a character at the same time. So I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Stay tuned next week for part 78. Until then, bye. Special shoutouts to my top-tier patrons. Kaori Makoto, Revealing Storm, Jared Fan, Tequila Mockingbird, Izzy Ibo, Joel Ustman, Asborn Kennedy, Harry Gaziff, Icognito, Locus Corollus, and Wusing Chrysalis. 